everyone welcome to my channel my name's Lee you're watching Dark Roots Creations and these are my August most anticipated new releases I apologize in advance for the crappy lighting my ring light here doesn't want to cooperate and I've got this like ray of light that normally isn't here I'm gonna blame my brother because he just walked in the door and you know why not? Anyway, um, I have three books on the list for August. Not that many that are out that I'm absolutely interested in. A couple that I might be, but I don't want to give might be's out there when either I haven't read the author or I haven't read enough of them, or I just don't know how I'm feeling about it. So I'm just going to give the three for sure that I know I'm most looking forward to. First up is The Blonde Identity by Allie Carter. A fast-paced, hilarious road trip rom-com about a woman with amnesia who discovers she's the identical twin sister of a rogue spy and must be teamed up with a rugged, grumpy operative to stay alive. It's the middle of the night in the middle of Paris and a woman just woke up with no memory. She only knows three things for certain. One, she has a splitting headache. Two, the hottest guy she has probably ever seen is standing over her, telling her to run. And, oh yeah, three, people keep trying to kill her. She doesn't know who or why, but when she sees footage of herself fighting off a dozen men, there's only one explanation. Obviously, she's a spy. Except according to Mr. Hot Guy, she's not. She's a spy's identical twin sister. Too bad the only person who knows she's not the woman they're looking for is this very grouchy, very sexy, very secret agent who reluctantly agrees to help her disappear. That's easier said than done when a criminal organization wants you dead and every intelligence service in the world wants you caught. Luckily, no one is looking for a pair of lovesick newlyweds on their honeymoon. And soon they're lying their way across Europe, dodging bullets and faking kisses as they race to unravel a deadly conspiracy and clear her sister's name. But with every secret they uncover, the truth shifts until she can no longer know who to trust, the twin she can't remember or the mysterious man she can't let herself forget. This is an adult romance by Ali Carter. A lot of what I've read from her previously is YA, so I'm looking forward to something a little bit more adult. And this one comes out on August 8th. Next up is None of This is True by Lisa Jewell. Celebrating her 45th birthday at her local pub, popular podcaster Alex Summer crosses paths with an unassuming woman called Josie Fair. Josie, it turns out, is also celebrating her 45th birthday. They are, in fact, birthday twins. A few days later, Alex and Josie bump into each other again, this time outside Alex's children's school. Josie has been listening to Alex's podcast and thinks she might be an interesting subject for her series. She is, she tells Alex, on the cusp of great changes in her life. Josie's life appears to be strange and complicated, and although Alex finds her unsettling, she can't quite resist the temptation to keep making the podcast. Slowly, she starts to realize that Josie has been hiding some very dark secrets. And before she knows it, Josie has entangled her way into Alex's life and into her home. But as quickly as she arrived, Josie disappears. Only then does Alex discover that Josie has left a terrible and terrifying legacy in her wake and that Alex has become the subject of her own true crime podcast with her life and her family's lives under mortal threat. Who is Josie Fair and what has she done? I've been on the verge of breaking up with Lisa Jewell. I really enjoyed her in the beginning and then I found a lot of her stuff to just be okay. And maybe I say on the verge because it's been more three stars than four and five stars. Still gonna give this one a chance though. Um, there's a little bit of controversy. Goodreads says this is going to come out on July 20th. Everywhere else says August 8th, so I'm going to go with August 8th for this one. 
And the third book that I'm most anticipating is The Brothers Hawthorne by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. This is number four in the Inheritance Game series. Four Brothers, Two Missions, One Explosive Read. Grayson Hawthorne was raised as the heir apparent to his billionaire grandfather, taught from the cradle to put family first. Now the great Tobias Hawthorne is dead and his family disinherited, but some lessons linger. When Grayson's half-sisters find themselves in trouble, he swoops in to do what he does best, take care of the problem, efficiently, effectively, mercilessly, and without getting bogged down on emotional entanglements. Jameson Hawthorne is a risk taker, a sensation seeker, a player of games. When his mysterious father appears and asks for a favor, Jameson can't resist the challenge. Now he must infiltrate London's most exclusive underground gambling club, which caters to the rich, the powerful, and the aristocratic, and win an impossible game of greatest stakes. Luckily, Jameson Hawthorne lives for the impossible. Drawn into twisted games on the opposite sides of the globe, Grayson and Jameson, with the help of their brothers and the girl who inherited their grandfather's fortune, must dig deep to decide who they want to be and what each of them will sacrifice to win. I really enjoyed uh, the Hoth, uh, Inheritance Game trilogy in which they're talking about the, he just talked about briefly here about how a girl uh, was left the inheritance that the Hawthorne brothers thought were going to be for them. Didn't work out that way. They did kind of remain friends, so I could see why she would help them and the other two brothers because their grandfather was all about games and puzzles, so they just can't resist that. That's how they were brought up and they are, uh, losing is not part of their DNA. So definitely looking forward to this one. I know this won't be for everybody because you would have had to, or most likely have had to read the first three to have a better understanding of what's going on. but. I read them. I'm looking forward to this one. And this one comes out on August 29th. So that's it. That's the books I'm most looking forward to reading. Let me know if you're interested in any of these or if you read them maybe in an arc. Um, if not, let me know what you're most looking forward to reading in August. I always love seeing what people are reading and adding books to my TBR. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.